Hello everyone, welcome back to another AI video. This one, we're gonna make logos in ChatGPT. You'll see here an example. I've got the Starbucks logo. I'm in ChatGPT4. We're gonna drop that into ChatGPT4 with the vision functionality enabled, as you can see here. And then we're gonna drop into Dolly. So we're gonna go into here. You'll see up the top left here, it says I'm in Dolly. We'll drop in the information that we get from ChatGPT and we'll get some logos just like this. This one's really, really good actually. We're then going to take that logo, we're going to drop it into a vectorizer, which we will do for free. And then finally, if you just look in Adobe Illustrator here, I've got this vectorized logo that we created. All of that step by step, just all you need is a chat GPT subscription. All right, I'm going to show you how to do this. Take about 90 seconds. Let's go. All right, so the first step is we need to get into chat GPT-4. If you're not in GPT-4, if you're in 3.5, for example, you won't have access to this. So make sure it says chat GPT-4 and that you can see this little paper clip here that allows us to attach to images. Now I'm just going to click on that paper clip here right where it says message chat GPT and I'm just going to grab a, uh, we're going to get a logo. So in this case, we're going to use the Starbucks logo. I've got a nice copy of the Starbucks logo. And presto, there we go. Now, I'm going to go ahead and type this in. I'm just going to copy and paste it in, and I will put a link in the description below. But what it needs to say is, I want to gener generate a logo similar to this one. Describe the prompt I would use in Dolly 3 to achieve this. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. Now, if you don't want to make a logo based off of a current logo, and you just want to create something independently that like you've got an idea you don't have to go through this process uh, it's superfluous but just in case you wanted to make something based on something that's out there there we go so here we go let's see what we got here's the prompt it says create a logo featuring a stylized symmetrical mermaid with long flowing hair okay awesome I'm going to copy this so I just command C command V or just right click copy now on the left side, you'll see we're in chat GPT. Now I'm going to click on Dolly. And if you don't see that, just go to Explore. And under Explore, you're going to see Dolly. So make sure you're in Dolly. Now all you got to do is Command V or Control V if you're on a PC and copy that in. When you do that, it's going to do some thinking and then it's going to create some images for us or some logos. Once I've got those created, I'll show you how to modify them in, chat, in Dolly, pardon me. And then I'll show you how to vectorize them. All right, so here's what it's given us so far. And I, you know what? It looks pretty damn good. I'm just going to click on them here. I'll click on that one. That's a simpler version. And then this one's a little more, I guess there's a little more to it, a little more ornate. But whatever, it doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and use the simpler version just for simplicity's sake. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on that image and I'm going to right click and I'm going to save it. And I'm just going to save it as uh, Starbucks uh, demo, something like that, and save it to the desktop. Now, if I didn't like this or if I want changes to it, let's say I don't like the colors. I'm going to go for image one, change colors to blue and white, whatever. It doesn't matter. You can go ahead and actually type in the types of changes that you want it to create. So I'm going to go ahead. I type that in. I'm going to come back when it's done, and then I'll show you the final step. All right, welcome back. So here it is, and you'll see that it's got some blue colors in it, and it's got a nice off-white color. So you can actually make changes to it in Dolly just using text. Now, maybe that's not quite good enough. I'm going to write, I'm going to click on it. I'm going to save the image as, and then I'm just going to put Starbucks 2, save it to my desktop. Now, here, watch this. I'm going to go to a website called Vectorizer.ai. I will put a link in the description below for this as well. I'm going to click on it and then here it allows you to take an image or a logo or a JPEG or anything like that and turn it into a vector. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on my finder. I'm going to grab that image. So I don't know where it is. What, is it? what did I call it? Starbucks 2. There we go. Watch this. I'm going to drag and drop it in here and it goes through a process. It uploads it, then it processes it, and then we can download it directly and it will be a scalable vector graphic which is basically exactly what we want. So it is a vectorized logo. So here we go. Here's the original. Here's the vectorized result. I'm going to click on download and then boom, we can go ahead and make some changes here, but I'm just going to leave it as is. And then you'll see it's downloaded here up at the top and I'm going to go to my downloads folder. I will click on it right here and there it is. It says .svg, meaning it is a scalable vector graphic. And if you want to test it and check it, you can always just go into Adobe Illustrator or whatever program you have that you can just see what type of um, uh, what type of whatever you use to create vectors or modify vectors. Let's go ahead and do this correctly, Curtis. I click on it, drag and drop it into Adobe Illustrator, 
and then presto when i open it up here under layers you'll see that all these paths and all that there is done this is a vector graphic that is literally all there is to it thanks for watching